Hi everyone, welcome to the video. Uh, in this one we're going to walk through how to use our new Pixelvacation script. That's the uh, name that's kind of we gave it in the team and it's kind of stuck. So it's basically a script that's going to turn a standard install of Retrobat into the RGS build. Um, so yeah, um, it's a different way of doing it. Up until now we, we've basically supplied a, a base image of several hundred gig that's got what's Retrobat pre-configured with our build and a number of ROM packs um, already added in. And everything they're ready to go um, but obviously we've had some feedback you know some people obviously don't have that much space to, to play with or just want to um, use it and install a few packs um, so this is kind of a bare bones approach you'll get the get retro about turn it into our just build with no games and you can then browse our ROM packs and download and choose you know which ones you want so okay let's let's crack straight on rather than uh, me waffling on so basically this, the steps are to download and install Retrobat if you haven't already a clean fresh install from their website um, so you're probably familiar with the Retrobat website already click on the download link obviously I think most of you should know how to do this already but um, let's go through it anyway obviously we're on version 7 at the time of making this video um, obviously going forward in the future if they release 7.1 7.2 some some point I guess version 8 um, we'll just update the script to make sure that it works with a with all those versions uh, so as you say normally I think people kind of see this and think you know do I have to pay for it it's just a recommend donation and obviously they a lot of hard work goes into retrobat so if you want to you can make a do donation to those guys um, definitely worth it um, I certainly have in the past so you can obviously choose what you donate or you can just uh, click here and say no thanks it takes you to the download link and obviously it's all in um, order all the different versions um, the update script or the pixelification script that we have we've made available for 6.4 and 7 because some people might still be on 6.4 for whatever reason um, but obviously in the demo I'm going to do version 7 so I'll click download there just consent to this it's going to pop up in a minute and start downloading he says Is it will start momentarily? No, not there yet. But anyway, I've got I've got it downloaded already, so I'll uh, I'll skip on to <laughs> already got it. So yeah, downloaded. Um, so it's, it's one point four gigs. So I've probably saved a bit of time there anyway. So yeah, what you do is go and go and download this. Oh, it's probably going to work now. But anyway, let me just close it off that for a minute. Um, and then yeah, so you, you download the uh, the base install. So this is you know the generic standard install retrobat, and just install this in a normal way. So we're just going to double click here, select language, I'm sure we've all done this uh, plenty of times before but if not it's all fairly standard. Um, for me I'm going to stick it into, I've created a folder on my C drive called demo, so I'm going to put it in there. Um, the extras, obviously I recommend doing this, I'm not going to because I already have these already. But if it's the first time you're doing it, just uh, and then if you want to do a, sh a d uh, desktop desktop shortcut, you can. Again, I'm not going to just sit and install and you wait. Nice thing about Retrobat is that it's I say it's installing, but in reality, it's just extracting the contents into that folder. Everything is self-contained in that Retrobat folder, which makes it portable. Um, there were a couple of emulators which write stuff into your your Windows profile folder, so outside. Um, but we have kind of fixed those and um, with our update script and update service we've kind of reconfigured them to that so they work properly basically so if you do have Retrobat installing onto a USB drive for example you can in theory unplug it and plug it into another Windows PC and as long as you've got those prereqs installed DirectX etc it'll, it'll just work but anyway uh, this is just going to install so I'm just going to pause for a second so you don't have to sit here and watch this go all the way across Okay, that's finished now. Took a took a couple minutes just to uh, just to extract, and then we're done. We click finish. Okay, so on the C drive, we just confirm on that demo folder. I've now got a Retrobat folder, and here's a a base install of uh, of Retrobat. Um, so yeah. Next step is to get the pixelfication script. <laughs> Easy to say. Um, so yeah, it's on a, it's on GitHub. It's freely available. So obviously, I have the link in the description. So I've got it open here. Uh, it's under this repository here, the Pixen Retrobat Deploy. 
So all we've got in, inside the repository is a little readme with a funky graphic. Uh, and then obviously the two scripts, like I said, we've got a script for Retrobat version 6.4 and one for version 7. So depending on which one you you want to use or are using already, get the right one. Obviously I'm using version 7 in this demo. So you click on the file here, this is the contents of the file. So if you want to have a look, see what it's doing, make sure there's nothing dodgy in here. It's just, it's quite straightforward script to download bits and pieces and extract it. So that's all it is. Uh, and then up here, you've got a little download raw file. Click on that link, it'll go to your downloads. And like I say, I've already got it. I've now got it twice. <laughs> so yeah. So all we, all we want to do, make sure you run this, and the important bit is to run this from inside the Retrobat folder. So I'm just going to control C on this, or right click copy, uh, and then I go to that Retrobat folder, and I just paste it in here. So very important, make sure it's in the, the root of the Retrobat folder, alongside Retrobat.exe, and then you, you know you're all good. Um, it does check this, so just to show just to show that working, let me just minimize this stuff out of the way. If it checks for the, the exe there, so if I rename this to the old, for example, and then to run the script, literally just, just double click. So if I do that, but you might get this pop up, this Windows protection. So the Defender Smart Screen, because it's running an application it's not seen before, this little script, it might say, you know, I don't recognize it. Um, but you can just click on more info and just say, yeah, run anyway. So it will run, it will go full screen, and you'll see here, so now it says um, that it can't find Retrobat XE, so it's basically going to exit out at this point. To, this is just like a, a fail safe to make sure you're running it from the right place, because when it does the extraction, it's going to extract into you know into this folder structure. Um, and obviously it's in the wrong place, that won't work properly, so I'll put that back to Retrobat.exe, and then we run it again. So it's going to run through now, and this is it basically. It's going to run through and uh, download a couple of bits. So it's downloaded a couple of utilities here. So this is like the um, uh, 7-zip and the um, other bits and pieces it needs just to run. And then it's downloaded this main package. So this is the main package here, this 7-zip uh, this file, which again is downloading from, uh, from uh, Pixel Drain. Um, so yeah, it's, it's fairly big. It's I think about 15 gig is up to now, something like that. Uh, maybe a bit more. You might be near a 19, but yeah, it's 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 fairly fairly sizable. So it's gonna take a few minutes to download. Like I said, I've got a fairly decent connection here, and it also gives you a progress bar here. So 25 odd minutes. So again, rather than sitting there watching this, <laughs> I will just pause the video quickly. We'll let this download. Um, I guess just while we're on here, we had obviously Pixel Drain is um, just an online cloud storage provider that we've used for a few bits and pieces. I know some people have had issues um, accessing it in certain countries. If you do have issues accessing this or you get you get error at this point, just go to a browser and, and try go to pixeldrain.com and see what happens. Um, for some people we found out they had a VPN on or they've had some kind of um, uh, internet security type um, service running that is blocking it. So you can either just disable that temporarily or add an exception in or, or, yeah, or, or disconnect from your VPN temporarily or whatever it might be. Just to get get around that, so but so most people are fine. But if, if you are the one of the few that has an issue, just double check in a browser that you can access pixeldrain.com, and then obviously disable anything that's blocking it or allow it um, while this is running. Because obviously it's, it's important to have access to that as well because the the update service that runs um, in Retrobat and and in Batista as well it downloads um, certainly things like the themes. Are stored on pixel drain and a few other bits of like emulator updates are on there as well so if you can't get access to that obviously this isn't going to work but then obviously any updates uh, etc are not going to work either so so yeah um, so i'm going to pause pause there let this finish uh, and um back in a minute okay so the uh the actual download is finished now and you see it now moves on to the uh, extraction so yeah one big zip file and that's going to extract it out here into the Retrobat folder. So again, once the uh, first bit's finished, you probably have to then wait again for a few minutes for, for this to extract. But you can see here my download, it did go, the yeah, speed went up and down a fair bit during it, whether that was my network or, or something else, but about 40 minutes it took to download that. Like I say, it says, yeah, what, 18.3 gig. So it takes a few minutes, it, but you can kind of just let it running, or set it running and then, and then walk away. You don't have to sit there watching it. 
So, like I said, yeah, done download. Now it's doing the extraction. It's up to nearly, nearly 5% already. So it's basically everything's included in here to turn it into the build. So, you know, the BIOS files, uh, themes, uh, custom config, all the little bits and pieces and tweaks to get you up and running and ready. So I think what I'll probably do is just pause the video again and just let this bit run through, like I say. It'll take a few minutes here to extract. Obviously, this is going to depend on the speed of your hard drive, where you're running on an SSD or a, or a spinning disk or uh, what type of connection it is. But yeah, just um, let this bit run through. Um, I'll pause and be back in a minute. Okay, just coming to the end now. 99% done. Again, this has taken, I don't know, a few minutes. Not too long. I just let this finish up. So that's it, finished extracting. And now what it's going to do for you is just run the, the update service automatically. Make sure you've got any uh, any recent updates that have been been applied or released since the uh, since the build was created. I've got it running in a, in some windows here so I can see it easier, but obviously for you this should be should be full screen. So again, this is the standard uh, update service that we run. Obviously for RetroBat, we do similar for, for Batasir as well. This is going to check for any emulator updates or fixes, any any new config files, either new ones or tweaks, um, and then any updates to the uh, to the themes that we supply with the build. So just going to walk through this. This doesn't take very long. Obviously, the uh, majority of them are, are already included in the base base image that gets downloaded here. So we'll just let it run through. Don't really pause the video again. That's all the latest config files for version 7. Which is here now it's doing the th last thing it does is the themes. Obviously there's been some updates since uh, since packed it together. The, namely the Hypermax theme, obviously that's been ongoing for a while. Obviously it's a quite a popular theme that we, we include. It's not, not our default. Um, the default is Skybook, which uh, since one of the last videos I made, I think fully for the Batasira um, build guide, I wasn't sure how to pronounce it, but the uh, the author himself has set us straight, so it's obviously it's spelled C K A U hyphen book, but it's pronounced Sky. So there you go. Skybook is our default theme, but yeah, hyphen max is one that's been fairly popular, so we included that. And there's been some recent work on it to fix some of the crashing. There was some crashing that's happening mainly when you're on, on Retrobat, but on Batasir it seemed fine, and it mainly seemed to happen on Retrobat. And the more and more systems you added, it just it couldn't cope. There's an error in the code that just Basically meant it was uh, wasn't freeing up some memory, and eventually the memory would run out and would cause um, retrobat or emulation station to to crash and stop. So that's been fixed now. So this is just updating. So it may be that before I do the actual final release, we put this Hypermax um, update into the base image, so it doesn't have to do this full uh, this full uh, update. But we'll see. Again, just going to let this run through. It doesn't take too long. We're uh, ETA there. Again, it's 25 seconds. So try to make sure each stage gives you the progress and you know, ETA so you can see what's going on. Um, I'm going to work out how long it's going to take. But like, yeah, again, it's you can leave it running and just yeah, go and do something else and come back. Like I said, once, once you execute the script, it will do the download, do the extraction, do the update, all without any interaction. So you basically sit back and wait. So that's done that one. We've got the light theme going in. The the light version of Hypermax was more just for testing really to test those fixes. Um, the two are pretty much identical. There's some extra view options in, in Plus, which um, I was planning on making a separate video for. Um, but yes, the light version is still there now, but that may well be removed at some point in the near future because we don't really need it now. So 
Again, this is doing an update. It's going to take, it says five minutes. So I'll, put, I'll just quickly pause the video here while that, that does that. You're not going to miss anything. I'll have it pause. The, uh, the speed seemed to pick up, so that's good. And again, for, the, uh, for that one, there's a couple of updates. And here's our default skybook. A couple of updates there. And then another one I introduced into the uh, update service was the original Skybook. So obviously we, we have a slightly customised version. We've removed a lot of the extra views and, and set the uh, the game list view to a custom version that, that RGS created himself. Um, so that's why that's that's different. And the original Skybook, obviously, um, we owe everything to that for, for, for creating this. Um, so I thought it only uh, only good to, to include the original Skybook in there because it seems quite popular as well. A lot of people use that as well, um, and it should cover should cover all the systems that we have in here anyway. Um, but I just thought if we include it in here, then people are going to get the get it updates automatically for them rather than having to go through um, go through the retro back menus and update it themselves. It will do it for them here. So again, this is just doing an update. So I don't think this one's in the base base image so again may add that to the base image to save some time but then again obviously you know, it'll make the base image that bit bigger so anytime you gain here you'll you'll lose up front so then I'll let's run through so again the speed does vary obviously we're reliant on the on the cloud storage provider it depends how busy they are how busy their infrastructure is how busy your local connection is but yeah, generally this download speed is pretty good from there. So that's done the update script now. And that'll close. And then that's it all done. So the main script's now finished. You're all done. Hit any key.